Math lesson number 33. Solving word problems involving radicals. Solve the following word problems. The formula for the area of an equilateral triangle with side length S is A is equal to S squared, square root of 3 over 4. Now we will be using this to solve the problem. What is the area of an equilateral triangle whose side is 6 centimeters? So substitute 6 to S. So that's 6 squared, square root of 3 over 4. 6 squared is 36. Simplifying, 36 over 4 is 9. So final answer is 9 square root of 3 cm squared. Number two, how long is the side of an equilateral triangle whose area is 16 square root of 3 centimeter squared? So again, this is the formula. Now, plug in or substitute the area 16a, I mean 16 square root of 3 to a. So that's it. Now, multiply both sides by 4 to remove 4 here. So, 4 times 16 is 64. And then, 4 now is removed. Then, after that, square root of 3 and square root of 3 can be cancelled. Cancelled. So, what is left is S squared is equal to 64. Now, get the square root of both sides. Square root of S squared is S, and then square root of 64 is 8. Take note, square root of 64 has two roots, which are 8 and negative 8. But we will only consider the principal root because we are talking about length. There is no negative length. So, side of an equilateral triangle is 8 centimeters. Number 3. Determine the side of the square if the area is 128 cm squared. So the formula for the area of square is side squared. Now, side squared is equal to 128. That's the given area. And then square root or get the square root of both. Again, get the square root of both sides. We have square root of s squared is equal to square root of 128. Now, square root of s squared is s. Square root of 128 can be simplified into square root of 64 times square root of 2. 64 is a perfect square factor of 128. Now, square root of 64 is 8. Square root of 2 is this. So, the final answer is s is equal to 8 square root of 2 centimeters. So this is the side of the square if the area is 128 cm squared. Number 4, determine the area of the equilateral triangle if the side measures 10 over square root of 27 centimeters. So copy the area. A is equal to S squared square root of 3 over 4 and then plug in 10 over square root of 27, substitute that to x, I mean to s. Now, 10 squared is 100, square root of 27 squared is 27. So this one, 100 over 27, is the same as 100 over 27 times square root of 3 over 4. Now, multiplying fractions. Multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. So, 100 times the square root of 3 over 27 times 4 is this. Now, another method is the cancellation method. So, 100 divided by 4. 4 is cancelled. 100 is cancelled. 100 divided by 4 is 25. Then, 25 times the square root of 3 is 25 square root of 3. 27 is left 
in the denominator. So, the final answer is 25 square root of 3 over 27 cm squared. So, that's the area of the equilateral triangle if the side is 10 over square root of 27 centimeters. Number 5. The formula for the area of a regular hexagon with side length s is a is equal to s squared 3 square root of 3 over 2. Find the area of the regular hexagon if the side is 2 square root of 12 centimeters. So again, substitute this 2 square root of 12 to s in the formula. So that's it. And then, squaring that, 2 squared is 4, square root of 12 squared is 12. So that will be 4 times 12. Now, this one can be written also as 4 times 12 is 48 times 3, square root of 3 over 2. So this must be multiplied to the numerator, not to the denominator. Now, 48 divided by 2 is 24. 24 times 3 is 72. Plug in the radical, square root of 3. Cm squared. Squared because we are talking about area. And area has two dimensions. Now, let's have number 6. The square root of the sum of twice a number and 20 is 10. What is the number? So, let x be the number, and then, let's write this to a mathematical statement. Square root of the sum of twice a number, twice a number is 2x, the other number is 20, and then the sum of that is 2x plus 20. And then get the square root. As a result, you have 10. Now, squared or we need to square both sides to remove the radical sign. So that will be 2x plus 20 is equal to 100. 10 squared is 100. Now, transfer 20 to the other side. That will be 100 minus 20, which is 80. Now divide both sides by 2. We have 80 divided by 2 is 40. So x is equal to 40. That is the number. Number 7, in the Pythagorean relation a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So take note, this is the formula for the Pythagorean theorem. a and b are the lengths of the legs and c is the length of the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Now, if b is equal to 60 and c is equal to 61, what do you think is the value of a? So by using the form by using the formula we have a squared, a is missing, and then b is 60, c is 61. Now we isolate a squared, that will be 61 squared transfers 60 squared to the other side, that will be minus 60 squared. Now 61 squared is 3721. 60 squared is 3,600. Subtracting that, we have 121. Therefore, a squared is equal to 121. Get the square root of both sides. Square root of a squared is a. Square root of 121 is positive and or negative 11. But we are talking about length, so we will only consider the negative root. I mean the positive root. Okay, Because we are talking about the length and there is no negative length. So therefore, a is equal to 11. Number 8, last number. In the proportion a over x is equal to x over b, x is the geometric mean between a and b. 
find the geometric mean between 20 and 80. So take note, between 20 and 80. So we need to find a number that is the geometric mean. And that number must be between 20 and 80. So let's substitute 20 to A and 80 to B. And then cross multiply. X times X is X squared. 20 times 80 is 1,600. Get the square root of both sides. So square root of X squared is equal to square root of 1,600. Square root of 1,600 is positive and or negative 40. But take a look at this between 20 and 40. So we will only consider the positive value or the, fast, the positive root because 40 is between 20 and 80. So therefore, the geometric mean between 20 and 80 is 40.